We good? Perfect. Okay. Cody, just Bayless was kind of banged up during camp. Just how would you assess where he is now and just his performance through two games? Uh, definitely banged up during camp. He is a lot healthier um, in a really good position right now. And, uh, man, just through the first couple of games, just got to continue to get in the flow of things, um, get back progressing at an inside and an outside receiver. But so far, he's done a really good job for us. Got to continue to grow and develop him. Stay in the back. Coach, what's it been like just having Jimmy Callaway back on the field and kind of seeing that burst of speed on that touchdown run last week? No doubt. Uh, like I said before, Jimmy Callaway is, is going to be a special player when it's all said and done. Um, I think it was evidence out there on the field uh, this past week that once he gets the ball in his hands, he's a difference maker. Um, we knew that when he was a quarterback in high school and slowly starting to develop into a wide out. So really excited about the future for Jimmy. That was just a glimpse of what he can become. Just got to continue to grow and develop. Austin and Adam, to build on that, when you look at uh, you know, when y'all got here and where he was just from knowing the position to where he is now, how far has he come? Man, it's really night and day how far Jimmy's come. Um, uh, last year being a COVID year, uh, just a strange and unique year, which we all know, and then a new staff, so change of position coach, change of an offense, really had to relearn everything once again. And so I told him the other day, just watching his growth and development through the spring, the summer, and now starting to make some plays um, in an actual football game against a pretty good ACC team, was really impressed with him. So. Um, the sky is the limit for Jimmy if he continues to, to grow, listen, to, to coach him, which he does. He does a phenomenal job of. He's just a great person, a good kid, and he's a truly a good football player as well. There were some uh, deep balls that were open in that game. I'm curious to know, looking back, was that good play design, or did your guys get good separation, good release? A little bit of both. Uh, I thought we did a really good job of game planning uh, Pitt trying to get some guys open, free some guys up on some free runs. Um, but also, I think they went out there and did their, their part as far as trying to run by guys. And listen, we're young in the offense. We're young at, at receiver as well. And really, when you look at it, all the quarterbacks are, are really young as well. So we just got to continue to grow. And we're going to hit those balls. I mean, it's just a matter of time. I think Coach Hype said that it's a race to be as good as we can be as fast as we can. And so you're going to see each week, we're going to continue to progress each week and get better. We're going to start connecting those big balls. Those are really what changes the games. I mean, you got guys running down the field. If we connect on a couple of those balls, um, whether it be via drops or overthrows, doesn't matter. There's no blame on anybody. We just got to continue to get continuity, continue to, to be cohesive and make those plays, and that'll change the game for sure. How do you guys play a number of guys at, at receiver? And it's always a work in progress. But when Jalen went down, kind of had some, some guys move around a little bit. How pleased are you with the versatility of guys being able to step in to different roles at receiver? Extremely pleased uh, with the guys that really stepped in. Because you know how it goes in practice. You may not get all the reps uh, as a receiver. And you got to sit back. you got to listen in the walkthroughs. you got to listen in the meetings. you got to be in tune and play the game or play the practice as if it's the game. And so once Jalen went down, I guess it might have been four plays in, Jimmy stepped up, uh, Walker stepped up, and even Bayless moved to some slide as well. So we had some guys really step up into that role and were able to really you know, get some free <coughs> runs and make some plays. So, so very, uh, very extremely happy with what they did. And we got to continue to develop and grow those guys as well. But besides getting Jalen healthy, how do you get him going? I know that you know, we talked about week one wasn't what he was looking for in a couple of drops. How do you get him going the way that, that you expect him to be able to go? Yeah, Jay, one thing we all know, Jalen can run. Jalen's got elite speed. Um, he can run by anybody in this league, really. And, and once again, you, you just go back to a young player. Um, it's my job as a coach to continue to grow, develop him, to make sure that those 50-50 balls are, are sure up catches for him. And if he continues to do that, he can grow and be as good as he wants to be. And so that's just part of the process, just like Jimmy Callaway, just like Holiday. Uh, Hyatt is really, when you look at it, take out the COVID year, which is a unique year. He's new, like he's new to this offense. He has to continue to grow. And if he does that, which he will, like he'll be a special player when it's all said and done. Jimmy and Wes. Coach, what does uh, Javante Payton need to do to be more productive? Man, I, I've been extremely impressed with Javante Payton. Um, he was actually one of our 640 club members, which means he played extremely hard the entire game. Um, Javante Payton just needs to continue to keep doing what he's doing. 
and like I said, the, the flow of the game, uh, each, each game is different. Each game is unique and, and takes on um, a mind of its own. And this game kind of transpired to where Javante may not have got a whole bunch of balls, which is fine. That's part of the game. And so when his time comes, he's going to be ready. He just got has to keep uh, playing like he's been playing, and uh, his time will come. How do you prepare your guys for, for knowing that, you know, the quarterback can change, you know, during a game? Because I know some guys, like Joe's got such a powerful arm. When other guys come in, it's got to be a little bit different. You know, you've you played both positions before. How do you get guys ready for that? Is that just a mental thing, or how do you do that? No question. Uh, my approach to it, I play quarterback, like you said. Um, it's not about the quarterback. We got to be on point, right? So I don't care who's playing at quarterback, whether it was, was Joe or Hendon, doesn't matter. We got to be on point. We got to run the right depths. We got to run the correct reads. We got to run the correct routes. And we got to make plays for those quarterbacks to take the pressure off of them. And so as long as we handle our part, the rest will take care of itself. So I tell my guys in the meeting, you don't ever question or worry about what's going on at quarterback. Let's be on point. Let's go out there and make plays. Austin and Jake. Coach, you referenced June Holiday a minute ago. How's he progressing and kind of what does he give you at this point? Yeah, Jimmy Holiday is, a, is another guy that, that has talent, has to truly continue to grow. Missed a lot of time in the spring, missed a lot of time in the summer as well, and also fall camp. So a little bit behind the eight ball. But one thing that I've told him is that we continue to grow him and develop him, just like the rest of these guys. we got a young room. And that's what we have to understand is that these guys have to continue to grow. Jimmy Holiday played quarterback in high school, and now he's learning how to transition into a true wideout. And he also missed all that time in spring, summer, and fall that he's having to play catch up on. But he's extremely smart. He's a competitor, and he's tough. And uh, I love Jimmy. He's going to be a good player for us when it's all said and done. Last two questions, Brent and Adam. Coach, given what you've seen from, from Cedric, uh, just with his ability to, to get deep balls, how much trust is there with him, even, or did it grow even more after that Bowling Green game, after he got that 50 50 ball in the end zone? I tell you what, it, it's really the trust in Tillman's really grown throughout camp and, and since I've been here in the spring. He's one of the guys I talked about that was kind of a really a pleasant surprise as far as getting that confidence and understanding that you're actually good. And I know he doesn't have a lot of time on task as far as playing in games. He's been here for a little while. But now I think he's to a point where he can be as good as he wants to be in this league. He's a big body guy, strong, strong hands. And when you throw it up, which we saw in the Bowling Green game, it really doesn't matter who's around him. It's a good chance that he comes up with the ball. And uh, he made a play on a, on a little comeback that he caught the ball, made a couple guys miss. And you just see the pure strength that he has once he gets the ball in his hands. So if he continues to grow, the way he's been doing, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what the future holds for Tillman. You referenced a couple times that you know, you're young at the position, young in the offense. Through two games, how has Drew gone? How, how well has Drew guys done at route adjustments when the ball snaps, communication with the quarterback, being on the same page? Kind of. What does that look like through two games? How's that been? What's crazy is, is obviously as coaches, we get a chance to really evaluate the film, not just the TV copy. We get a chance to look at every single view and angle of the film, and you really see uh, growth from week one to week two as far as in, in route adjustments and making the right decisions. Uh, was really impressed uh, from game one to game two, and it's a process. And if we continue on that same strength, we're going to connect on some of those balls and really change some ball games moving forward. Yeah, yards after catch is like all coaching. That's not <laughs> nah. So uh, yards after catch, uh, that's a unique ability that, that most guys have talent that you recruit to. And, and we do have a couple of guys that have great uh, ball in hand guys. And so it's my job as coach to design routes and show you how to run the route to get you open. And the rest of it is up to you. Once the ball's in the hands, it's up to you to go out there and do what you've done your whole life. And that's why you're here at Tennessee. Thank you, coach. Yep. Thank you all.